This is the version where it's just the two doors. Save this. So we just click save. And then I'm gonna do a save as, and we're gonna save it to the same place on the desktop. And we're gonna call it two doors and drawers. Save. And we're gonna manipulate this so that we're gonna take these dimensions off for the symbolic lines. And I'm gonna grab this symbolic line, drag it down to this intersection and drag this one down to this intersection. And then I have to make sure that they're gonna to stick to that point. So I'm gonna use the align tool and I'm going to align the endpoint. And then I'm gonna align the other endpoint. Now when you're doing this align tool and you're clicking to those endpoints, you don't really know which endpoint you're clicking to. I just know that there's two endpoints there. And so I just do it twice because after you do the first one, Revit will just pick up on the other one that's not already locked. And so now I know that both of those endpoints are locked because this at the top here are now drawers. And so now I'm going to do another dimension string, making sure I'm clicking on the endpoint and then re-equalize that on this side and then we'll do the same thing over here and re-equalize it on this side. And then all I have to do is draw another model line. So I go back to create model line. It's still using that front part of the extrusion. It says right here for placement plane. So I just draw a line but make sure my subcategory is set to casework projection and just draw it all the way across and go to the 3D view and see what we've got, and this is what it looks like. Now, if you really want to get nitpicky about this, and I'm actually not, I'll just do it once and then I'll ignore the rest. But if you really want to get nitpicky about this, if this particular piece of casework is going to be on the end and the end of this door is going to be exposed, you probably will want to draw a reference line. If I do pick a plane, you'll probably want to draw a reference line on the end of this. And so I make that my drawing plane, and then I click, make sure it says casework projection, and then I just draw a line randomly on that side, and then I can actually use the align tool and align it and lock it. And so now that little tiny line segment on the end will just go wherever this line goes. And obviously you would do that on both sides. You can basically trick everybody into thinking that it's an actual two separate pieces when it's actually just one extrusion. So now we have our second door. So we'll go to the front view and it looks like this. So let's do this, let's save it. And then we'll do a save as, and we'll call this third one not two drawers and not two doors, but we'll just call it So call it door drawers. Now the reason I'm calling these all door is so that I can find them very easily. It's always a good idea when you're using these different family types to name them all starting with the same thing so that they all get grouped together once they all get loaded into a project. So we'll call it doors drawers even though that name really kind of doesn't make sense. So I click save. And in this case, because this is all going to be drawers in this case, I can just delete the symbolic lines because we don't have those in this particular case. So I delete that. And then I can just copy this line down to these other reference planes. And so just using the copy command, copy it down and then copy it down. Now you can turn the copy multiple on if you want to do it multiple times. And that is if you click copy here, copy multiple, well actually, let me just do this. Copy multiple is right here. So you just check that button right there. But because I have copied those manually and I haven't snapped or locked or done anything, I have to lock these two lines into place. And so to do that, I'm just gonna use the align tool. You probably already are realizing that the align tool is your best friend in family creation. So I'm gonna click that and then align that and then click and align that line there. Just based on experience, I can say that I can rely on these lines to always stick to these side reference planes, so I don't necessarily have to lock those. If we get this into a project and the lines start doing weird things, we can always come back and fix the problem afterward. And so now I'm going to save this, and I'm gonna go ahead and exit out 
of these door families. So I'm just exiting them out and coming back to the casework family. So I'm gonna tile my windows and make sure that I just have the casework open. Yes, I do. 